Hey, is it true that you guys are arrest or not arresting, but just stopping young people from uh, playing on playgrounds here in Concord? PorcupineRealEstate.com. Um. So at this intersection in Concord, New Hampshire, I believe an event is scheduled to occur in about 10 hours. The reopening of New Hampshire's farmer's market, the Concord farmer's market. In 2011, New Hampshire Liberty activist Garrett Ian set up right along this, uh, this street and tried to give away free lemonade as a protest. Let's see if I can get it back in focus as a protest against the lemonade crackdown that had been going on around the country. Farmers market people, or people identifying them as farmers market people, grabbed his camera and shut it off. Calling Concord PD here, who uh, then showed up to threaten him with wiretapping charges for running his camera while he was being confronted. So in the spirit of uh, Garrett's activity. I want to do some activity of my own in that spot where they'll be. Here's another one. I'm going to try to hit all four corners at least. Since they were being intolerant of free speech, while shutting down a street and thus acting in sort of a governmental capacity, they became my business. There have been occasions where chalking has resulted in legal trouble, but I am doing it right in front of the police, more or less. How you doing, boss? Hi, audio taping. Oh. How are you? Hey, is it true that you guys are arrest or not arresting, but just stopping young people from uh, playing on playgrounds here in Concord? That I'm stopping young people? Not you personally, but the CPD. Oh, oh I don't know about that. I know that uh, I know that the city has asked us to to uh, to put the little uh, the plastic tape around them because they don't want cross contamination there. At the, they don't want anybody getting getting sick from that. So I've seen this viral video where, where you guys were trying to stop kids from playing on a playground. No, I don't know if it was viral. Would you stop kids from playing on a playground if you were ordered to? Well, I think that I would I would definitely address it and speak to the parents and definitely warn them that you know there could be cross contamination if, if uh, that type of activity happens. I think I would. Do that. Have you considered giving any of your salary back to taxpayers now that they're not allowed to work and you are? Well, I think I'm working for mine. I believe that when they work for theirs, they'll, they'll be having theirs. But... And of course, some of them are still allowed. Did you have a question for me? I don't. I just wanted to see <laughs> if you were okay. I saw you on the ground. I oh, thank you. Well, you know, this is the second time I have uh, I did a protest in front of your office about four years ago, and one of your officers showed up to check and see if I was okay then, too. So yeah, I appreciated absolutely. that. I see somebody on yeah. the ground. I want to make sure you're all right. <laughs> all right. All right. all right. Thank you, officer. You I appreciate it. Our a good night. captain, Stay for safe. all I know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm low level. My name is Officer Zavala. And all right. You have yourself a good evening. Okay. Thanks much. Right. Goodbye. Yeah, it looks better when I uh, when I add the color coding. The yellow and blue is new. That's you know the those are the colors of New Hampshire and the colors of reopennewhampshire.com. So uh, now I want to go in. Now that I've kind of done the periphery, I want to go into the area where they're going to be having the event and you know maybe put a couple of token uh, chalkings and see if they get removed. Who transacted the Live Free or Die State's first home sale for Bitcoin? Well, it was this guy, Mark Borden at PorcupineRealEstate.com. He and his experienced team of professional, responsible activists want to get you in the perfect New Hampshire home. Escape that authoritarian spit pit where you're living now. Visit PorcupineRealEstate.com.